get another. DJ's Brew 2 Mitch Drink How To. Well, you see the liquor out and the bar supplies, so you know what's up. The missus has behaved herself once again, so it is my duty, my job, as it were, to make her a lovely mixed drink. And what lovely mixed drink will we make today? Today we're going to make Planter's Punch. Now, this is a classic drink. Got popular back in the 40s and 50s, and man, they served it at all the country clubs and things of that sort, and today it's sort of like bartender or mixologist 101. You got to have this drink in your repertoire. It's made with really simple ingredients, and one of them I think is a true classic, and that's Meyer's Dark Rum. Why do I say it's a classic? Because it's got lovely caramel notes to it, like a dark, woody, charred flavor, and it has an undertone and a sweetness to it, and a lovely mouthfeel. When you drink it, you know, it's kind of neat, or on some ice. And in a mixed drink, it gives it that kicked up, sort of smoky, burnt caramel flavor that I think just other dark rums just don't do. Now, I'm also going to use what I think is a classic too, which is Don Cool Gold or Light Rum. I really love its flavors. Got some really nice sugar and citrus notes, and I think it really melds well with the Myers. So, for other ingredients, we got lemon juice. Um, Angostura bitters, honey syrup, and um, some soda water to float on the top. So let's stop flapping my gums and get to making this drink. So I've got everything pre-measured out because who wants to see me pour uh, liquor and squeeze lemon? So we've got one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Some folks choose to sweeten that if they wish, but you could just use lemonade, I guess. I don't know. So we've got one ounce of Myers Dark Rum, lovely elixir of life. Next, we've got one ounce of the uh, Don Cool Light or Gold Rum. And next, after that, we've got one ounce of honey syrup. And to finish it off, last but not least, we're gonna use a dash, and I mean just a dash, of Angostura bitters. This stuff is powerful. Boom, that's all you need. It will take over your drink, you don't believe me? Put too much of it in one time and you will know. So, it's time to get our shake face on, and remember, when we're shaking a drink, we're doing something for somebody we care about, or you know what, if you're working and you're making somebody a drink, you know what, you gotta smile, because you're making a drink. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I love the shake face, baby. Alright, now we're gonna strain it into our glass. Pre-iced, nice and frosty cold, look at that. Lovely, delicious liquid pouring out of the shaker. Get it all in there, baby, get it all. Alright. Set this down. Now we're going to top it with some soda water. Careful when you open your soda water bottles because if they're shaking in the least, they will explode on you. Now, why the soda water? That kind of wakes up the drink, that little bit of carbonation. And this is a lovely drink to drink through that soda water. We're going to make it pretty and put a lemon peel on it, or a lemon wheel, that is. It's got lemon peel. And look at that drink, guys. A beautiful, classic mixed drink. Let's take a taste of it. Damn. It's got a lovely honey note to it. I love the notes that that honey syrup brings to it. And it's got a smokiness and a sweetness and a deep caramel flavor that is why this is a classic drink, guys. So, make somebody you care about a planter's punch, and I'm sure that they're going to be happy with you. So, to the next time, guys, do me a big favor. Think globally, drink locally, support the craft beer movement, as well as the craft cocktail or mixology movement, because... It's all fun stuff, and that variety is what keeps the weekend fun and the relaxing going on. So, until the next time, guys, thanks a minute to each and every one of you for watching, rating, commenting, subscribing, and hitting that like button. And until the next time, I got nothing but a bunch of love for you and a big-ass planter punch drinking. Peace out!